A brand new poll reveals the dramatic and disproportionate impact the coronavirus is having on Latinos in this country. In a poll conducted from Somos Unidos U.S. and Move On, 41 percent of Latinos say they're having a hard time paying basic monthly expenses. Nearly half of Latino small business owners say they have had trouble getting any sort of loan. And 60 percent of Latino households report a job loss or a pay cut. Joining us now, Jose diaz Villar, anchor of Weekend Nightly News on Saturday and Telemundo. <clears throat> Jose, always wonderful to see you. I know you speak to Latino business owners and workers and families Likewise, all the time. Sir. Help us understand what it's like. You know, Stephanie, when you bring these numbers up, there is, and I want to just, if, if you could put that, that uh, graphic back up, look at that last number, 60% of Latinos will tell you that they either had a job loss or have had a pay cut in their household, 60%. We're talking about that just over a month and a half ago, Latinos had the lowest unemployment in the history of the United States. In just over two months, the bottom has fallen from under them and they are literally looking at Armageddon economically. I have untold friends, Stephanie, that have restaurants that have put their entire life savings, heart and soul into that restaurant. They've been hiring people. They've been extremely successful. And as of today, not only are they not able to have takeout, they're closed. They're closed because they just couldn't ride out this period. It is a tragedy. It's hitting all of us. Coronavirus is hitting all of us, but it really has been targeting Latinos especially hard. I want to talk about another group. 21% of Latinos in the United States are undocumented, meaning they are not eligible for any of these benefits mm -hmm. that the government is now providing, unemployment, SNAP benefits, none of it. Talk to us about the unique challenges that undocumented, yep. undocumented immigrants are facing right now in this country. All right. So there are millions of undocumented uh, people living in this country. Many have been working steadily to put food on our table. Let me give you an example. Immokalee, Florida, mm -hmm. where 90 uh, percent of the tomatoes that we in the United States consume during the winter come out of Immokalee, Florida. They're not from Mexico. They're not from other countries. They're from Florida, Immokalee, Florida, and a ton of the people that are out there under the sun getting those tomatoes may be unemployed. Many of those are living five, six, eight people per mobile home so that they can continue to exist. They have no access to anything. And you know what else, Stephanie? And I think that people uh, should be noting this. Of all of the PPP, the small business loans, et cetera, do you know that if you're an American citizen and you file jointly with someone with has an itin, for example, uh, 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 was undocumented, you're married to an undocumented, you as an American citizen don't have the right to get any assistance either? More than a million and a half American citizens are unable to get that help because they file with someone who doesn't have a Social Security number. How is that happening? What is Marco Rubio doing about it? PPP is his program. Isn't this something he cares about? Well... Yes. As a matter of fact, Telemundo reached out to Senator Rubio. He said he didn't he wasn't aware of the fact that American citizens could not have access to any help if they're married to someone that files with anything. He says he's going to look into it. But so far, he's the only one who's even talked about this. Well, now he's aware of it. Now he's looking into it. Hopefully you or I will have the chance to follow up with him. Jose, always fantastic to see you. We must keep raising these issues. They Stephanie, matter great to, to every American. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.